Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the sixth session of that catalog item real-time training. So basically in this training we are trying to cover up that real-time scenario, what happens to the real-time scenario and what are the issues we are going to fetch in the real-time scenario. In last session we talked about a real-time issues like uh, if you have a parallel uh, activity like um, approval and then catalog task, there could be a scenario that um, you know it won't depend on each other and at that time if somebody done the first activity the let's say the catalog task is closed complete automatically the approval will be cancelled and then the flow was getting in so today we'll first talk about that how can we overcome this situation and what are the benefits or what are the way we can stop this issue okay so very first thing is the service now provided one activity called joint activity if you see in the left navigation we have a joint activity we can add this joint activity what is the use for the joint activity we'll talk further on the joint activity and other sessions but to overcome this issue we can use uh, one activity that is called joint activity so in this joint activity we can add multiple path into the joint activity so let's say if i delete this one and then it will go from catalog task to the joint activity and from approve it will go to the joint activity okay so let's see what is the joint activity i'll just give a brief description of the joint activity joint activity will help us to wait to until unless comes from all the paths so if this activity will be wait until unless it comes from all the paths so like that now if you see uh, we have a one more options call here uh, if raised by manager it can can come here and another activity if somebody requested new it can come here so this way uh, i mean the four from the four places it can come okay fine so this joint activity can help you to overcome that issue but we'll see more further so if it is completed it will go to this close complete state and if it is incompleted it will go to the end state so what is the complete what is the incomplete we will discuss further but this is what we used for the joint activity for the example so joint activity will wait to come from all the path and then if if it is come from all the part it will go to the complete if some of the path are came so it will become to the in act in incomplete part so our case so let's go back to that catalog item refresh that catalog item one more time and raise the request and see what is happening i'll quickly raise the request so this is the request we are going to check that so if i go and search this request number and open the rtm and click on the show workflow so very first thing is that it is waiting from this path and this path both the path are waiting previously we did one thing we just close the task so we will similarly do the close task once we do the close task the activity will be completed and it will be go to the joint and it will be wait for that joint activity so let's see will complete this path and this uh, workflow will move further from here to here joint activity and it will be wait for other activity to come okay so it means that approval activity will be wait and uh, i mean it will do it for approval and then come so if i go back to the approvals and then just approve that so this approval is approved and let's refresh our form so if you see here it came from the approval and by somehow it is come from the incomplete path so it is come from the incomplete path and then it go to the incomplete uh, in this joint activity we added two more paths so this path and this path which is cannot be possible in uh, possible to come in because if you see here this satis this can only go to the yes or no if it is no it will come here and then in that case there is no way it will become here so in this case although your ta two tasks are completed but all the four connection so these two connection did not uh, came here so that's the reason it come as incomplete and then it's ended here 
although you can achieve this functionality by complete or incomplete you can i mean you can just go back to the workflow and then uh, remove the incomplete and attach to this here although you can do that so let's do that i'll simply remove this condition here So the workflow is smart enough to attach wherever it should attach. So, uh, so we will do a wait for condition. So let's do that for that. For that, what we have to do, we will type the wait for condition. If we type wait for condition, there is a um, uh, call thing called wait for condition. We just need to be attached that. And here we will type wait for condition name. Let's first see what are the things it should happen. The very first thing is that uh, if the catalog task is completed, so it will come to here and attach here. Okay. Or if somebody approve, it should come to here and come uh, wait for that. If a requested manager is yes, requested is by manager, it should wait here. If the request type is new, it should, uh, you know, wait here. So this is the complete picture. Instead of join, we are using the wait for condition. In this wait for condition, we have a one path only that is always. Previously, it was complete and incomplete, but here it only have a always condition. Now in this wait for condition, what will be? It will be wait for. Okay. So it will be wait for that if there is any catalog task that should either close complete and if there is any approval that should be closed complete then only these are the this can go to the further okay so in this wait for condition what we'll do we'll write some code or else you can uh, add some uh, you know condition here so what we'll do we'll write some code what we'll write where gr equal to new glide record Okay, so uh, you will check that all these approval are approved or not. So for that, what we'll do, I'll go to this RITM and then approval record. So uh, I'll copy this table name and paste here. Okay and gr dot add encoded query and here I'll put the condition. What condition I'll put that? That approved or reject. So I all the approved are either approved or rejected. In that case, it means that this is done, this activity is done. So here, what we'll do that, uh, if you see here, we are putting the condition is that either for this record or for this RITM, it's approved or rejected. So we we'll just copy this query and then simply uh, paste that. And here, instead of this CCID hard coded CCID, we'll put that current dot CCID. And uh, we'll do that gr dot query if gr dot next so if the record is found it means that the record or for that particular record it's uh, um, it's either approved or rejected okay so or else we can do that uh, in, in uh, uh, i mean in this case that there should not be any record which is in uh, request state Okay, requested. So if we run that copy query and paste here, if I will just remove that, if the state is requested, it means that the approval is, I uh, you know that um, not yet approval is not yet approved. So in that case, what we'll do? answer equal to false okay 
Now next is that we'll check the task. Okay, so what we'll do here in this RITM, we'll check that task should not be in the open state. Okay, so uh, for that, what we'll do here, that gr2 equal to new light record sc underscore task and gr2 dot add encoded query here what we'll do uh, we'll uh, put that along with this ritm number we'll put that state is open so if task state is open, it means that it is not yet completed. So in that case, we will not uh, going to um, put that here. We'll do that current dot uh, ID. and gr2.query if gr2.next and if any task and if any task which is found as a open state we are not going to return i mean we are not going to uh, let this system um, open else we'll just uh, return answer true it means that if all these are satisfied it means that there is no ta no approval which is in requested state there is no um, no task which is in open state will uh, let the system go to the further steps so that's it let's raise the request so you Under this RITM, uh, we should have uh, approval and task. Once we click show workflow, uh, it will be wait for both the condition. You can see it is waiting for both the condition. Let's close one of these. So let's say close this task. Now I'll simply close this task. Once we close this task, this workflow will go and uh, wait for this condition. It will move from here to wait for condition. So let's see why it is not working or why it is not working as expected. So if you see here the code, it's saying that uh, uh, if, it code, uh, if this code executed, it mark as answer false. If this code is executed, it mark as a answer false. And finally, it come to here and it's marked answer two. So it means that if this block is executed, it is not stopping here. Or if this block is executed, this is not stopping here. Because at the last of the line, the line whenever the line number 15 is executed, it is marking as answer true. So it is not restricting. So what we'll do, we'll try here else and inside the else we'll put this one okay and here we'll type else okay and we'll move this answer through here and let's uh, revisit our port what it is saying that it means if there is any approval in the requested state, system will not go to the further, okay? Else, system will check that is there any task which is in open state? If yes, system not let go to that further step. Else, the system will go to the further step. So, it is checking two conditions. Is there any approval which is in requested state? If you said yes, then it won't let the system go. After, if there is no approval in the requested state, it will check in the further, is there any task which is in open state? Yes, then it not let go the system, otherwise it will, if the system will let go that. And if you see here, we put that GR2, which should have GR2 instead of GR, uh, it should have GR2. And let's update this one. Now I'll simply raise the request.
open the RITM and click the show workflow. The workflow is waiting for approval and the task. So I'll simply close the task. And if I refresh here, this is waiting for condition. Now if I approve that request, it should go further. Let's see. It is uh, wait for condition and completed that part. So that's how you can uh, do your uh, workflow. Okay. So now next sessions we'll talk about the group approval and you a uh, few more further topics. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.